it's just like with anything else that I, I would recommend. It's also fluid. So there's not, there's been times in, um, you know, these interviews where I didn't get to all the questions. I was listening to the conversation of what they were saying. And I took from that and that kind of went down a whole nother path that we got into a deeper conversation, which also played into the co the questions from the audience, right? So don't get hung up on, like you're creating questions to help your guests to engage them and, you know, and, and have them actively involved in the conversation, but also leave it open to that it can go anywhere and that you're not like, oh, these are the interview questions we have to get to. The other part of that is sometimes you might get a guest like that doesn't stop talking, right? Like they just don't stop talking on a question. So you as the interviewer have to really listen for that pause in the conversation to try to start to generate it to the next, like, oh, that's great. Let's go. So that's another thing because you can find, especially when people are nervous and you're interviewing them, they kind of go off on a tangent of, and it's not that it's not good information, but it's, you've given enough to your audience. And so like body, body language is something you want to look at, especially if you're on video, body language and kind of reading those cues is really key too, for when you're interviewing a guest.